everybody. Hopefully this microphone thing is working out. First attempt at moto vlogging. I'm here in the Pine Barrens in New Jersey. We're just taking a nice slow day through the woods. Not trying to do anything fancy. Not trying to go real fast. Uh, we hadn't been here in about six weeks, so we're because of the shut-in order. I did a ride in North Jersey last weekend, but that is a very, very different terrain. It was cold here today. Some bumpy wumpies right here. I'm just trying to get about 75, 80 miles in today. This is a really pretty road. Ooh, a little mud, a little sandy mud. Oh, those are big ruts, wow. Hey, big ruts. I guess really the one downside to the Pine Barrens is your terrain is not very, it's not varied much. Like you, this is what you're riding most of the time that you're out here. Is just like flat sandy roads. You can run into some mud every now and again. And there are deceivingly large puddles in the middle of the road. Big ass holes with water in them. So you have to be pretty conscious of that kind of stuff. Especially roads that are frequently traveled by 4x4 vehicles. They just dig those holes over time. Really pretty river. Hey, right. It is so beautiful out here. All day I've been trying to get this mirror right where I can actually see behind me. There it is. 206, the old highway. Missed the turn. Whoops. Might get a little wet on this trail. Oh yeah. Oh, we're gonna get wet. So this is where you can kind of have a little fun. Get a little bit of deep stuff. Uh, that's, that's, that's a lot of deep stuff. I'll stay in the... I'll stay in what the cars have already done for me. My motorcyclist motto these days is take the easy way out. Saves you money because your bike doesn't break. And it saves your body because you don't go to the ER for doing some dumb shit. Going that way. Woo! 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 This is what this bike was built for right here. I bought a Snickers just for a mid-ride mid snack and I left it in my damn truck. Gosh, damn it. Well, this is really fun. Woo, woo, woo. Mississippi Transamerica Trail, here we come. You're not gonna have whoops like this, I bet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And then I'm gonna tow this bike down to Memphis and I'm gonna do the Mississippi section of the Transamerica Trail with my buddy David Lane. I grew up in Mississippi, so that's gonna be a fun a little like return home and learn more about the state I grew up in. David's gonna be rocking a 2005 V-Strom on that one. The Stromy with dirt tires. That'll be interesting. He, he. Railroad tracks. I did not realize those were cops until I got too close. Honestly, I get a little impatient when we're on the pavement. Because that's not why we're here. There's a deer. Well, I think over there. Alright, you think over there, fearless leader? He was right! He was right, by golly! Tally ho sky, tally ho. Man, I'm weird. Come from where did it go? Where did it come from? Stay straight, watch the tree. Yow! Whoa, this is cool. Sod farms. That's why everybody in North Jersey has such nice lawns. It's because they come down to South Jersey and they buy some really nice grass. Finally, oh my god. Hello, hello, sweet, sweet sandy shit. I probably should keep my YouTube channel PG. I got a two-year-old. Sweet, sweet, sandy stuff. Yeah, man. Sitting on this bike sucks. I even got a seat concept seat, man. I spent 250 bucks. It should be more comfortable than this. Why? Looks like I'm staying out the rest of the day anyway. Oh my God, turn your blinker off, you slub. For me, it's like, right now, it's like practice time for me. You know, most 31-year-olds have been riding dirt bikes their whole lives, they're like, Dude, I did my practice like now I'm a badass rider. Oh, hey, 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 hey. That's not me. I'm, I'm like 
I'm still working hard on, on being a better rider every day. Good thing these goes arounds are here. Hop! This is a weird right turn up here. That's where we're going? Pretty sure, yeah. Ooh! Just got impaled by a pine tree. Uh, moto vlogging is hard because you have to have stuff you want to talk about and I don't know. I don't have that much stuff I want to talk about. 